In 2020, the Chinese EV maker NIO received almost $1 billion from their investors. And we are always excited when we talk about market cap growth of Tesla in 2020. But look at NIO. The market cap of NIO grew by almost 1.6 thousand percent in the past 12 months. The company has been always known as an SUV company, but on January 9th during NIO Day, they unveiled the new vehicle and it's a sedan. And it's it's actually the same vehicle, the same prototype, which was earlier announced uh, at the uh, Shanghai Auto Show back in April 2019. Bakunin live. I'm Michael Bakunin and you're watching my YouTube channel about electric and self-driving cars. And today we are going to review the new sedan from NIO ET7. ET7 is a pretty large car if you compare it to Tesla Model S. It's actually longer, wider and even higher than Tesla Model S. It has dual beam LED lights, integrated door handles and Neo uh, also features a laminated all glass roof. There are a few bumps on the roof and those are actually sensors. It's the LiDAR and two cameras. Not a very typical way how a traditional car maker would integrate sensors and I know there will be a lot of haters among traditional car makers and designers but the, those sensors are there for a good reason and I will talk about that a little bit later. When you look inside of this vehicle I will quote the company will try to provide a cozy and joyful second living room. So the company is making a very strong accent on premium materials and components, the area where Tesla exactly needs to deliver today. And I think I was able to hear those words or similar words from the CEO of Lucid Motors. And this is where the competition of Tesla is trying to catch up and reinforce their position. So in terms of seating, uh, all uh, seats will have heating, ventilation and massage features as standard options. The car will have 23 speakers and two large screens. The first one is the instrument cluster with a 10.2 inch screen and the second one is 12.8 inch screen. Plus, in addition to that, they will add the head-up display and in one of my recent videos when I was talking about, you know, expected Tesla Model S uh, new spec, I was actually advising Tesla to add this head-up display. We all know that Tesla has a tendency uh, to remove the instrument cluster and they want to move to this landscape display which you normally see on Tesla Model 3 and Y. So in this particular case, they capped two displays and they also added the head-up display. Before we start discussing battery and driving range, I think I need to uh, remind you that NIO as a company is making a huge emphasis on the battery swapping system. And they are telling us in this, during this NIO day that they have already 177 battery swap stations in China. And I was just curious to see how that compares to the Tesla charging network. And today Tesla has more than 2000 supercharger stations. So so this new technology like battery swapping technology, I can tell you there were companies in the past testing this technology and one famous company which is called Batter Place, which was backed by Renault in the past, they tried this concept and unfortunately failed. In my personal humble opinion, I do think this uh, business model can be viable. It just requires a lot of capital and a lot of effort. This is the more or less the utility business. And when you look at the payback period in the utility business, they are very comfortable uh, when the timeline is, you know, 10 to 20 years. But in the automotive world, it's not necessarily the same case. And I think it will be a lot of heavy lifting for an early stage startup as a NEO. But they are pushing for it and there are some advantages because they have a standard batteries which can be swappable, replaceable and upgradable across the entire lineup. So as of today, uh, they have the 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, 84 and 100 kilowatt battery pack.
During the presentation, the founder and CEO of the company, William Lee, announced a new battery pack, 150 kilowatt hours. He was talking about increased efficiencies, new battery technology, solid state uh, battery technology. He was saying uh, the efficiency was increased by 50% and he gave a particular value here to keep in mind, 360 watts per kilogram. If you compare with what we have on Tesla Model 3 today, um, on, it's just 260 and uh, Elon Musk was uh, tweeting a couple of times that he would imagine that the company can achieve 400 kilowatts per kilogram in the future, maybe in the next three to four years. It looks like NEO is getting very, very close to this value and to this benchmark. Uh, and so I was very curious to see the driving range uh, of uh, the new Sedan ET7. And to be honest, it was not absolutely clear for me whether or not the company is going to apply solid state uh, battery technology for this new battery pack, or it's just something they have work in progress as of today, and they would want to introduce in the future. Nevertheless, let's have a look what this battery can offer. You will hear it all over the place in the news and articles and reviews. The ET7 claims a driving range of 1000 kilometers on this 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. But what are those four letters? It's actually an EDC. It's a different standard. So I know it's a little bit of a relaxed standard. If you want to convert it into uh, EPA terms uh, and we can actually benchmark this number again as Tesla and Lucid and other car makers, you would need to divide this number roughly by 1.43, which leaves us with a driving range of 700 kilometers or 400 134 miles. So look, uh, this is uh, still very impressive, but it's an enormous battery pack. It must be very heavy and very expensive. But if you look at this driving range, 434, how does that compare with Lucid Air Dream Edition, which gives us 500 miles, and Model S Plaid, which gives us 520. But they can achieve it with a much, much smaller battery packs. It's going to be maybe around 100 kilowatt hours for Model S and 113 kilowatt hours precisely for Lucid Air Dream Editions. To be honest, I don't really understand what kind of efficiencies William Lee kept in mind when he was explaining and unveiling this new battery pack. But if you compare it back to back in the same terms uh, with Model S and Lucid Air, it looks like the technology from uh, California is actually stronger and better and more efficient. ET7 will have two motors, 180 kilowatts and 300 kilowatts, with a total output of 480 kilowatts and 650 horsepower. The acceleration from 0 to 100 is uh, 3.9 seconds. It's quite impressive, but it doesn't really look outstanding when you compare it with Lucid Motors or uh, Tesla, where we can see the different order of magnitudes. It's like two, two seconds plus. But nevertheless, for a regular uh, customer like me, 3.9 seconds acceleration is plenty. It's a lot. It's more than enough. When we start talking about self-driving, this is where things start getting really, really exciting. In the very beginning, I said the vehicle has an integrated LiDAR, so the company is following the same path which was taken earlier by Lucid Motors and uh, Volvo with Luminar. So obviously they're using this technology to advance in the autonomous drive space and to offer some really, really good capabilities here. In addition to that, the vehicle has 11 cameras with a very high resolution, eight megapixels. And the CEO, William Lee, compared this resolution with Tesla Model S and other models of Tesla, which has only 1.2 megapixels. And he was showing the images just to uh, demonstrate how how better uh, this technology is. In addition to that, ET7 is using NVIDIA chips and the CEO was saying that the processing power is greater than that of seven Tesla full self-driving computers. 
So all the hardware on this vehicle will come as standard, but if you want to use these features like autonomous drive features in the future, you would need to pay a subscription fee. Uh, so it's a, a different path they're taking here compared to Tesla, where Tesla is requesting $10,000 for the full self-driving kit. Here you would need to pay roughly $100 monthly to have access to this new self-driving technology. And to be honest, here again, it was not absolutely clear whether or not we will have this full self-driving technology available on the vehicle uh, at this time of production, but uh, they said they will gradually start introducing uh, new features and new uh, functionality for this system starting with the freeway, urban driving, parking, but also battery swapping. And now it's a very good segue to pricing. The pre-subsidy price of ET7 sedan will start at $69.9,000 with a 70 kilowatt hour battery pack. There will be also other options. You can choose the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, or you can choose to use the battery as a service, which will reduce your upfront fees, but you will have a recurring monthly fee to access this feature. And once again, not to be the dead horse, I will compare the ET7 battery capacity 70 kilowatt hour battery pack uh, with the driving range of Tesla Model 3, for example, long range, and we can see there is a very big gap here. So ET7 with the 70 kilowatt hour battery pack, according to my estimations, will be able to deliver 216 miles, while on Tesla Model 3, we can expect 350 free. So look, uh, I did those calculations here back on the of the envelope calculations. If you think I made a mistake or you found a gap in my calculations, please let me know in the comments here down below. There were a couple of additional announcements uh, in the price section by William Lee. See, he offered actually lifetime power swap battery benefits and lifetime free warranty. It's very hard to estimate what this warranty means. There will be probably a long document with a footnote, what it covers, what it doesn't cover. But nevertheless, it's a really, really important milestone in the automotive industry. I have never heard about anything like that in the past because covering the lifetime of a battery pack, that's an impressive achievement. And we are all expecting Elon Musk and Tesla to come up with a new warranty for their battery packs when they announced the refresh of Tesla Model S and Tesla Model X. I made some assumptions about those vehicles in one of my videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, please watch those and let me know what you think. In 2020, NIO was able to deliver more than 43,000 vehicles to their customers. The growth is very impressive. They are doubling their sales uh, every year and they want to be in Europe and in the US uh, very soon, hopefully this year. We, I know there is an office of NIO here in San Jose in California, so hopefully we can see this new sedan ET7 on the roads in California and other states very, very soon. But if you ask about my personal choice, uh, uh, and I do invest uh, in different car makers. My personal bet in China will be BYD. The company was able to sell more than 130,000 uh, units in 2020, and this company is backed by uh, Warren Buffett and Elon Musk. If you like this episode, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button. See you next week.